All right, guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to dive as Heimerdinger. And in theory, it sounds pretty damn simple, but it is not. There is a good way to do it, and there is an absolutely fantastic way to do it, and I did the fantastic way. What's gonna happen is whenever you dive, you're either gonna A, kill them, or B, burn their flash. Okay, if you do it correctly, you can even do both, which is pretty amazing. But I'm gonna talk you guys through some of the times where I've done it, I'm going to show clips and explain to you guys how it works and why it works and how to hopefully do it efficiently and how you guys can do it in your games as well. All the games that I that I do it in are ranked. I only really play ranked and uh, I'm currently Diamond 3 or around there. So hopefully you guys take on board exactly what I say. Whether you guys are new Heimerdinger players or old ones, this is how you dive. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's just go. And I will take you guys through a magical journey of knowledge. Alright guys, as you can see, I am pushing top like an absolute beast. We are against Jax, and uh, the whole point of me trying to push him to his tower is so I can dive him, obviously. And I want him to be below half health, not too low, where he knows I'm going to dive, but if he sits at around a third health, that's when I know, especially when I have Ignite, I am going to be able to dive him. And what I'm going to do... You'll see me in a second. I'm going to place my large turret, my ultimate turret, my uh, ultimate and Q, behind his turret, which forces him to run away from it and engage my other two turrets. Here, he gets kind of trapped, he tries to disengage, and then boom, he gets absolutely obliterated. We will now look at the next clip, and I'll hopefully explain it in a little bit more depth. In this clip, guys, we are against a Riven, and Rivens are annoying for the pure fact that they can shield themselves, they can get a shield and reduce the damage done to them. So we need to take that into consideration whenever we are diving a Riven, especially the fact she has high mobility. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure that she is below a third health and just to make sure she doesn't shield some of her damage, we don't have Ignite up in this clip. So what we do, we put a turret here to try and start tanking it. And then we put our big turret there. And again, she tries to disengage the wrong way, panics, goes back to her tower and then gets absolutely sniped by my alt turret. Superb. All right guys, in this clip, we are against a very cocky Fiora. She keeps spamming her emote and uh, she really doesn't understand the amount of damage that I can pump out right into her freaking face, her stupid Fiora face. Uh, but we need to be wary that she can parry our attacks. Again, I do not have Ignite up in this clip, so I have to rely solely on the damage of my turrets. In this clip though, guys, you can see that I kind of tank a significant amount. So she's half health. Turret down, large turret down. As I auto attack her, I tank the aggro off the turret. She panics, she disengages, and uh, well, well, here we go. Coming to me, Fiora. Coming to me. Oh, and that's a wrap. That's a wrap. In this clip, guys, we are against a gangplank. Be wary whenever you're diving gangplank solely because of his removed scurvy, because he can. Pretty much disengaged me quite easily because of his remove stun, like so. But as I auto attack him, I tank the tar, which allows my turret to attack him. Me tanking the tar allows the turret to be unscathed, and he doesn't really understand this and gets absolutely melted. Going back to the Riven clip, guys, it's probably the best one out of the few that I showed you in regards to breaking down exactly what happens. Uh, you can do this on mid lane. I probably should have thrown a couple of mid lane examples in there, but it does work best at top lane, mainly because they uh, they are predominantly melee based top laners, and uh, their escapes aren't as, as good as, as a lot of mid laners. Like I said, if this fails, you will always blow their flash, okay? And don't dive them if you don't have vision of river, because you'll probably get ganked by the jungler whenever you're doing this, and you blow all your, cool, your cooldowns trying to gank them, and then you'll probably die yourself. So probably probably take note of that. But how to actually dive, guys, breaking it down properly is you're kind of sheepdogging them, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to sheepdog the uh, the enemy, the champion, the riven, whatever you're against, and you're gonna use your turrets as like the sheepdog. So they're the sheep, you're, your turrets are the sheepdog, you're the sheepdog, and you're trying to make a path and make them go where you want to go, not where they wanna go, okay? Kind of a bit of reverse psychology. And uh, what you're going to do, you're going to put a turret down close to the tower to uh, to take a lot of aggro, okay, off the minion, off the minion wave usually. 
and then you're going to put another turret down hopefully if you have another one stockpiled but you can do it with just one but the more turrets that you have then the more things that their tower has to aggro this is seen in the clips you, you'll kind of see what i'm talking about but the main thing that you need to take priority in is dropping your alt turret down only ever use your alt turret whenever you're trying to dive the reason being is that either this is going to take aggro from the the turret and allow you to throw off some spells and stuff like your missiles and your grenade or what i do and what you probably should do is this is going to be your prime your primary source of damage so what you're going to do you're going to put a turret down you're going to throw your alt turret down and then you yourself are going to stun riven or whoever you're against that stun or the missiles will then take aggro off your large turret and it will automatically start attacking you you're going to get attacked by the turret this in turn will allow your turret to be up for the full time that it's supposed to and completely obliterate whoever you're against okay there and one of the things that you'll probably realize if you're hammering your player or if you've played against one is that the range on the laser beam of your of your alt turret is outrageous absolutely outrageous i don't know if it's a bug if it is a bug please do not fix it right but it's absolutely outrageous okay and have an ignite in there guys have an ignite top like me very very aggressive it works so so well whenever you are uh, whenever you are diving because it's another extra few damage there and uh, with heimerdinger having such high cooldowns uh, especially early game it's just a little bit of extra salt on the dish that makes the kill even better uh, but that that's that's pretty much it guys you know the whole point i'm trying to explain to you is whenever you're diving you want to take the aggro off the turret yourself and force them to go towards your small turrets make them backtrack and go oh shit i don't want to go towards him and then by the time they've went back on themselves to their own turret then your ultimate turret your alt q is going to be fully charged to shoot a laser beam right in their face and hopefully you'll land the stun there and uh, their third health or half health or depending on how fed you are even their full 100 health will just disappear but hopefully hopefully guys you've taken something away from this and uh, you have become a better heimerdinger player try this out it works it is superb and diamond three guys i know what i'm talking about over a million mastery points in heimerdinger and uh, hopefully you guys climb with this little bit of extra knowledge that I've imparted on you today. So take it easy bros, peace out and good luck on the rift.